And what the rule of threes talks about is that the hemoglobin times three should equal the hematocrit. The hemoglobin times three should equal the hematocrit. So when you get your lab slip back and you get your labs back on your patient, look for the hemoglobin times three to equal the hematocrit. Okay, now do you remember what they were in the question? Nine, hemoglobin was not... Nine and 32, right? That's what it was? Okay. Okay, so if we use the rule of threes, we would have nine times three is 27. That's what it should be. The hematocrit for this patient should be 27, but her actual hematocrit, her measured hematocrit is 32. Now keep in mind, hematocrit is a percentage of red blood cells in the serum. That means she has more percentage-wise than she should. Therefore, is she dehydrated or overhydrated? Dehydrated. Dehydrated, dehydrated, right? Okay, no. she's dehydrated. Oh, it's less than what it is actually. Exactly. What it's supposed to be is 27. What it actually is is 32. 32 is a higher percentage, more concentrated than 27. So her actual hematocrit is more concentrated than we expected it to be. We expect it to be 27 based on a rule of three but it was actually 32, which is higher and more concentrated. So her blood is more concentrated, which means she's dehydrated. So that validates for us the idea that she's dehydrated, and that's what was causing her dizziness rather than her anemia. Does that make sense?